Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is New Perspectives Excel 2019 Module 7 SAM Project 1A. Valerian State College summarizing your data with 5 hook table. Here, first of all, we need to download this Excel start file. I have already downloaded here. Now let's move on to our project steps. So the first step is Lyle Masterson works in the student activities office at Valerian State College in Illinois. Lyle has start, started compiling information on students who are interested in helping the student organizations at Valerian State. And she needs your help completing the workbook. Switch to the student representative's worksheet. Okay, so here it is. <coughs> then, in cell E2, enter a formula using the HLOOKUP function as follows to determine a student's potential base hourly rate, which is based on the number of years of post-secondary education. So in cell E2, in cell E2, enter a formula using the HLOOKUP function, is equal HLOOKUP function bracket. Now use our structure reference to look up the value in the post-secondary years column, okay, post-secondary years column. Retrieve the value in the second row of the table in the range P13 to U14, okay, table array. P13 to U14. Using an absolute reference. Okay. So here, uh, enter the dollar sign before column and row. Okay. So retry the value in the second row of the uh, table in the range P13 to U14. So table ro row index number 2. Okay. Because base hourly rate is tired based on the number of years of education, find an approximate match. So for approximate match, we will type 2 and then bracket close and enter. Now the other uh, mm, other uh, values have also automatically entered in this column, so we do, do not need to do that. Fill the formula into the range E3 to E31 if necessary. So there is not any type of necessary because it has automatically entered. Now student organizations sometimes require in transportation for off-campus activities and school policy requires students to be over 23 years old to serve as transport. Lyle wants to determine how many of the active students will be eligible to transport other group members. In cell J2, enter a formula using the if function. Is equal if function bracket. And structure references as follows to determine if K callbird can serve as authorized transport. The function should use a reference to the age column to determine if the student's age is greater than 23. Okay, each column, this one, greater than 23. Okay. And should return the text yes if true and no if false. Okay. Yes. Then no. And then bracket close. Now fill the formula into the range J3 to J31 if necessary. So here I don't think there is not any, any type of necessary to enter it uh, by individually. It has automatically entered. Now the third point is to be eligible for the leadership training program offered by the office. A student must have at least two years of post-secondary education or have a gone through the organization finance training. In cell K2 enter formula using the if and all functions. And structure references as follows to determine if K. Colbert can join the leadership training program. The if function should determine if the student's post-secondary years is greater than or equal to 2 or if the student's final certified status is yes. Okay, so first of all, we will enter the formula here in cell K2. If, then bracket, and then all. Again, bracket. The if function should determine if the post-secondary year is greater than or equal to 2. Post-secondary years is greater than or equal to 2. Or if the student's finance certified status is yes. Finance certified status is yes.
so then returning the text yes if a student meets one or both of these criteria or text no if a student meets neither of those criteria okay and then enter fill the formula into the range k3 to to k31 if necessary so here it is now let's move on to our next step so experienced students may serve as mentors if they are at least age 21 and have at least 3 years of post secondary education in cell l2 enter a formula using the if and and function l2 is and then bracket after that and function then bracket the if function should determine if the student's age is greater than or equal to 21 student's age greater than sorry greater than or equal to 21 and the post student's post secondary education so post secondary years are greater than or equal to 3 and should return the text yes if a student meets both of those criteria or the text no if a student meets none of none or only one of those criteria okay so yes if value is true and no if value is false and then bracket close and enter so here is the values here are the values okay Now Lyell is always on the lookout for students who might be interested in return, running for office in student groups. In cell M2, enter a formula using our nested if function and its structure reference is as follows. To determine first if a student has already been elected to office in a I student group and if not, whether that is student meets the quali qualifications to run in the future. Okay, basically. This is not a whole tutorial video. This is just a preview. There are total twenty instructions. in this file from which i have already explained you four instructions now for the rest of the video sorry rest of the assignment you need to contact me on my whatsapp or email whichever you want my all contact details are provided in the description box so contact me and get any type of assignment from there in case any doubt you can ask me to comment box so thank you thank you for watching my video.